Every day, my life feels like a narration. It's filled with starvation and humiliation. As I think back to how I got here, I'm reminded of my mother. Oh, that sweet smell. As I never got to see her, I was torn away by humans. They made me survive. I don't even know if she's still alive. I remember the first time I opened my eyes. So many colors, instantly blinded by a flash. Flash, flash, flash. It hurts my eyes as I'm passed around, constantly bashing my head. Bash, bash, bash. I just wished I was dead. The smell still haunts me, but I had to move on. The laugh still deafens me, but so much worse was yet to come. I started to grow up. I matured into a man. Woke up from a sleep and I realized that I've been changed. Was this part of the plan? In a pool of blood, I was infected. After I inspected, my claws were gone. That's when the torture became clear and I started my career. It started with a whip, shocks, shame, whip, whip, whip. If I followed an instinct, I was to blame. The pain, the longing, the horror, broken, broken, broken. So many acts of masochism, silent screams, unspoken. All I could do was obey. I didn't have a say. But the crowd cheering, laughing, making fun, in awe of this false sense of abilities, not seeing my true power, lies, lies, lies. If I showed my power, I get hosed by a shower. Cries, cries, cries. I need to escape. The show would have an absentee, but I can't do this anymore. I need to be free. They say the grass is greener on the other side where the sky is blue. I don't know if that's true, but chained, shackled, beaten and burnt. The prison I'm so forced to barely survive in. This can't be it. This can't be my life. There must be another life I should be living. I saw the trainer go out for a break. That was his mistake, you see. He didn't lock the door. I saw an opening right down the corridor. I thought, let's go. I need to go. Go, go, go. I took a second and then bolted with speed. Even though my paws were bleeding, bleed, bleed, bleed. The need exhaled. I had to leave hell. I ran and I ran and I ran. And I ran as far away from the boogeyman. But that's when I felt it, the harsh pain in my side. I didn't understand what was happening, what forces were being aligned. I started struggling. I struggled to move. I said to myself, just breathe, just breathe. breed you see longing to be freed I regained my strength and I looked up and saw a light a colorful rainbow it was so bright the most beautiful thing to ever reach my sight I kept on going, I ran and ran and ran, my heart racing, beating, beating, beating. I finally made it. The land of hills, meadows and valleys, lush green grass. Finally, I made it to the finale. The sky was blue and fresh. My wounds were healed. 
My hood felt concealed as I ran through the field. I smelt a familiar smell. There was a whiff in the air. It smelt like my mother, but that's not possible. Could she really be there? I followed the smell to a shade under a tree. She was just there waiting for me. My son, she said as she looked into my eyes, you're finally home. You're finally safe, as tears filled up her eyes, as rain was pouring down from the skies, even heaven cries. I fell into her arms, my body was shaken. All at that moment, my soul was awakened. After all the endless suffering and pain that no one could explain, I was finally home, I was finally free. Eternity and paradise, you see, a life that was always truly destined for me.